Hello and welcome to Some Crew Settings 2. Today we're going to be playing in Ireland. Ireland is known as Newbie Island or Tutorial Islands. It's uh, one of the easier places to start. I'm going to be playing now and I'm going to be trying to have some some fun with one of these dynasties. Let's have a look. Who we want to take over? I want to take over this this region here because uh, Turcornal or Donegal is where my Irish family is actually from. So I want to go here and I want to take over this area. We're going to be playing in Iron Man mode, and uh, we're going to be playing with whichever Iron Man mode rules are. Let's have a look then, shall we? Ireland, a beautiful place. The uh, Emerald Isle, the potato farming economy. It's just, it is a beautiful place, uh, especially around the uh, the coasts. You have some nice rocky coasts. It's it's just beautiful. It really is. Anyway, we start off as uh, Rodri here. And I might get the pronunciations wrong. We have a, a bloodline here, monthly prestige, light infantry morale, personal combat skill, tanistry, succession. Ooh, interesting. Our succession is what? Uh Gavelkind. Gavelkind is the worst thing ever. We would like tanistry. We need to reign for ten years. If we can reign for ten years, we can have it. Tanistry. The ruler and vassals at one, and to explode local nomination heir, the tanners from among the members of the ruler's dynasty. That's the best way to do it. A bit of voting, but also within the same dynasty. Our current dynasty is five members strong. I want to change the shield up a little bit. We'll try and keep the similar sort of colours scheme, but I would like a different... What about... Not an animal. What about a... Is there a cross? It's a basic cross would do me if I could find one. You here? Ah, there's there's a cross. It's the same colours, but I'd like to switch them around. So we'll switch you to number one. We'll switch you to number nine. Let's see what can be put in the middle here. What should we represent? Ah, uh, holiness, communism, what, what are we going for here? Bear, crown, a horse, um, justice, piece of rose. I do like the roses, and the, the rose families aren't exactly out yet, so we could take the red rose for our own. Good. Ignore the historical implementations, imp implications of the rose. I'm going to take it because it looks nice. That's all there is to it. So here we are, we have a nice dynasty sigil here, and we're going to take the focus to uh, seduce, perhaps? Family, we're not a martial man, we're a diplomatic man, so I'll keep it diplomacy minded. I'm going to go for family. And we're going to take the ambition here to become the King of Ireland. I'm not sure if we will, however, be able to become the King of Ireland. We have 576 men, our neighbour here has 580 odd, and our neighbour here has 700 odd. Ruler, however, is unmarried. Uh, again, a, a, a female to marry you in this uh, in the start of any game is quite hard. There's not really many women around. I think it's due to historical in, uh, significance. Women weren't quite significant back in the day, so there's not really any historical people. But they stitch, there still should be generic women within the game, I think. Just for the sake of having people to marry in the early game, really. As, uh, we can maybe go for her. Harold's daughter, he's a relatively strong man. I don't want to spam out alliances though, because it does make you quite overpowered, so I will limit myself to one ally at a time. And we're going to see if we can get you. We could not. They prefer matrilineal marriage. Okay, so we'll... Uh, Scotland's a bit too powerful. I'll... Uh, I'm not sure if there are any women in Ireland. I think women haven't been invented in Ireland yet. No, women just don't exist in Ireland. What about in Wales? Wales does have women. You are a relatively strong man. Powies. Okay, uh, Powies. You're a man of ancient blood. For a Tongan. Is that the same guy I am? No, different man there, but okay. We will try and get a light with you. You have a daughter here. She's 17. Would she like to marry me? No. He has a good opinion of me. It's not good enough. Ah, right. You don't have any daughters. The only man in the whole land with daughters, and he won't give me a marriage. Not going to marry into the English. 
not the English king at least. Okay, maybe we'll just uh, give that a break for now. I do have a son. I don't know where he came from, but he is a son. We're going to give him a martial-based education. We're going to learn him some pride. We have special minor titles available. A designated regent I'll give to uh, a more diplomatic-based man. Well, let's do the cancel first. Position to cancel. You are 7. He is 12. You are 5. He is 7. You are 5. And that's about all, folks. Okay, could you study technology around... We'll send you to Paris. Can we get you, sir, to collect tax? Can we get you, sir, to train troops? And can we get you to... Hmm, do whatever that is. We'll get you there to... Hunt apostate, sure. Alright, minor titles, designated regents will give to uh, give to you. Master of the horse should go to one of the vassals. Master of the hunt go to the other vassal. Hi Almona will give to, I guess, my half brother. Cupbearer, somebody who likes me. I do not wish to be poisoned. And my court tutor. Last for greedy. We don't want greed. You're, you're greed, but you're proud, brave arbiter. We'll take her and hopefully they'll get the uh, good traits. Still unmarried. And uh, you lack an education. Who are you? Nephew. Great. We'll teach you about pride as well. Brother here, relatively useless. We're still unmarried and we do have the option here to recruit a court physician. We will not do that, however. We need our money for other means. As for you, where could we betroth you to? Maybe we could betroth you off to someone along here. Do you have any daughters? No. No, would you take my son instead? No, I didn't think so. Okay, I, I don't think we'd be able to get any alliances going on here. We could send him off matrilineally. Matrilineally. If I can get my word out quickly. Matrilineally. We could send off my half-brother. They're all half-brothers. Who's the worst? You are. We could send him off matrilineally, or even my nephew matrilineally. That would gain an alliance. They wouldn't take it. What about my brother? They're both working. What do you do? Collect taxes. Yeah, you were pretty shit. But let's send him off matrilineally. And see if we can get an alliance with these individuals over here. That would be very, very useful. If we could even get the alliance. No. We could bribe the man into it. And I think that would be useful. He's quite young. Oh, he does want quite a fair amount. So what we'll do is we'll try and sway the man. Try and sway him to our cause. He owns land over here as well. Petros can marry. Oh, that was quick. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. You can have him. He's a bit older than you, but... You can have him. Excellent. So we do have a open steward position and no one to fill it. Let's see if anyone is willing to join the cause. A good steward. And you're Irish. Excellent. I'll invite a smart Irishman over to my court. Uh, anyway, my religion and my culture. You're also a better marshal, so we invite you over as well. Then there's women, but... We don't need women who are low-born. Send a letter and find out if it is so. Excellent. My two new individuals have joined us. And we can gain prestige or lose... I don't want to lose prestige. Fuck his alliance. Oh, in fact, we might even be able to get it before the uh, thing comes through. But steward position goes to you, and the marshal position goes to you. So please train the troops, and you please collect the tax. Terrific. If we get this alliance, we can look into something. Excellent, he has. And we lose it within a day. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, send an envoy to his realm, see if we can get him back on board. Wonderful. Is he interested again? What do you mean, no? Form alliance. Non-aggression pact with King. So I need a non-aggression pact first. Form non-aggression pact is not an option. I could declare war on him. But we don't want to do that. We want to declare war on other individuals like you. 653. Against my not so many. Brian. 800. So we are the weakest around. It's a shame. It is a real shame. But what can we do? Well, we could uh, claim your men from the city if we were to revoke the title off this man. We have a cannot. We lack the prestige or the law to do so. I want prestige uh, and revocation law. 
Let's see if we can press press this law through. We need everyone to be on our side, so let's see if they will change their council position. Oh no, never mind, wrong wrong thing. Uh, request council support, that's what we're after here. So we'll do that on whoever we can and try to get this through. Excellent. So now we can revoke. We do still lack the prestige to do so. But not for long. We can take out that. That's an extra 500 men from the town. Assuming we could even besiege it. We could barely besiege it. I'm assuming we don't actually get it. Maybe he'd even allow us. Right, special master horse will give that to you. And a commander slot will give to you. Oh shoot, it's the it's the guy we actually want to take stuff from. Oh, and he's lost his levy a fair amount. You foolish man, I needed those men. So revoke title, he will allow us. It'll upset everyone. But we need the men. We need them now, so we're gonna do it. Excellent. Our levy is now up to seven hundred and twenty two, which is more than you but barely. Really barely. Still, if we could win the battle, we could then besiege him. Question is, can we win the battle? He's only going to have one major flank. We're going to have a flank that basically uh, matches him, and then we'll have another flank to outflank him. So I believe that we can beat him. I believe we have the tactics. There is also the opportunity. No, there's not the opportunity to get mercenaries, but let's still see what we can do here. Do cool conquests. When we win the war. When we declare war, we lose gold or border dispute. Do good conquest. Oh, we can't actually do either. Why not? Why not? So if we win the war, yeah, why can't we do it? I need the prestige. I need prestige of up to 100. What about border dispute? Piety or personal wealth of 64. That is near enough. So we'll go for border dispute in a second when we can afford it. We are gaining money relatively fast. Oh, that's gone up to 79. Of course it's gone up to fucking 79. Child lacks education. This is my son and heir. We'll give him a martial focus and we'll see if he can get it. What does you want a minor title, do you? Aidan. Sure, but you can't actually do it. You do... You're aware of this, yes? Okay, so we need to just uh, get a load of shekels ready. What is this? Send void to envoy to his realm. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. Can I get this alliance back? That would be great. Right. I want your land. 600 of men. That's better. How much money do you want now? All of the following. Oh, so I also need piety. Ah. Whereas here we need piety. So we definitely need piety. We could do extort tributes. Where if I win, I gain a lot of prestige. It would become a tributary, but that's not what we want. We want the actual land itself. So, piety. We need to become a pious man. Well, piety is uh, quite slow, so... Uh, might have to buy indulgence for our sins here. Let's see what they uh, they suggest. Glory to God. 25 gold for 50 piety. We gain gold more than we gain anything else at the moment, so it's not too bad to lose it. 100 piety or the wealth. 100 piety or the wealth. You are the cheaper one, though, so we need 100 piety here. We can spend that on conquering this fool of a man, assuming he doesn't get any alliances. That will give us a much bigger dimension size. Excellent news! Some gold! Exactly what I wanted. Well, this, uh, this guy is asking for a nickname. My lord, he says, would you do me the honour of bestowing a nickname upon me? We can give him a good name, the Loyal. We can give him the name the Handsome. We can give him the name uh, the Pest. We do have better things to do. We could just call him the Handsome. He's, he's not exactly handsome, but... We can name him the Handsome. He wants to get married. Uh, we, we'll award him a, a wife if we have one. We have Ain, so we'll give him Ain to... Uh, Marry. They both wanted to get married, so they should be happy now in the in the eyes of God and all that is holy. Seventy-seven. Okay, so it's not actually taking terribly long. 
What I will do is... Oh, expel the Jews. I can borrow money from Jewish merchants, gain a lot of money there. And then... Expel the Jewry. Ah, I need to be at least a Duke. Oh, my bad. So what I will do is... Oh, it's not here anymore. I was going to put uh, the... The holy... What should we call it? As a uh, special interest, but I guess it's not an option right now. So it won't take terribly long to get the piety up. We're oh, family first. Terrific. Wrong type of holding in demence. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see that. Quite a shame, eh? What I will... Oh, could be interesting. What does he want? My liege, I've noticed your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. I believe to, to take things interesting... To make things interesting, one must be introduced to these subjects where it is directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you would like to join me tomorrow at a full day's work. Um, yeah, sure, let's join in for some money here. We can gain honest, gain greedy, and some gold. Honest gives us good diplomacy, and we, we would like some diplomacy. What's this here? Today, uh, Patrick brings you to the nearest construction site to evaluate progress. He notices that the builders are lagging behind the agreed schedule and proceeds to question them. The builders complain about the weather and want p more pay to cover the delays. Patrick looks over your way, awaiting response. We'll hold our end of the deal, and when you hold yours, I gain. I lose shy. Should be good. It's good to not be so shy. Oh, Rudy. Wait, what? Loses to trade shy? I don't have to trade shy. Oh, that's not even me. Yes, but losing shy would be great. I guess one cannot predict the weather. I lose gold or clear the site will never work again. I gain wrath. No, we're going to lose shy. A friend has come to visit Patrick this evening. The three of you have a good time discussing your experiences over a fine evening meal. The visitor nods at you saying, How lucky you are, Patrick, to have a liege that understands your work. This cooperation should benefit both of you. Gain just and a stewardship. Yes, I'll take just. I'll be a just man. An invitation! My lord, we have received an invitation to visit the great monastery at Cluny. It could make for the most interesting journey. Cluny Abbey has grown to great prominence and power since it was given the given independence by the Duke of Burgundy in 910. Subject now only to the Pope and supported by extensive lands as well as generous donations, it is a great centre of wealth and learning. The Abbey's church is largest in Europe, not even the great cathedrals in Rome or Constantinople can match it. Terrific, let's go. Cluny Abbey. So this is the famous Cluny Abbey. The great church towers majestically over an extensive complex of buildings. The surrounding farmlands are rich and fertile, with peasants toiling to bring the fruits of the land into the coffers of the monastery. You can see many monks moving about, and also a spot of none or two. You can sense the atmosphere of learning, piety and power. This is a place that enjoys direct support of kings and powerful nobles, not to mention the Pope. We can gain stewardship, learning, intrigue, or gain 30 piety. Yes, I like the idea of 30 piety, Timur Vassal opinion, opinion, intrigue down. Let's learn some piety. Now this time I asked my good friend to spend some time with me. Yeah, sure, I'll ask him. You finally talk in private. It was truly an honour to have him here. Oh, I'm sure you enjoyed being in my presence for so long, because I have the proud trait. Well, it was truly an honour to have you here, good sir. Anyway, we have money and we have piety. You know what that means. Well, first, I would like a higher fort level. More garrison. Levy size, tax income. Let's go for castle walls. Castle fortification. Or keep. Levy size, garrison size, straight up. A lot of money, though, to increase the keep. Militia training ground. Straight up 100 of men. That's probably a better way to go. Yeah, that is straight 100 men. So we'll take that. Take 500 days to build. But oh well. Now, as for you, you have non-aggression packs, but no alliance. You have 700 odd men. I have 600 odd men. Ah. Levy will not reinforce until the garrison is full. You have no men. That is a huge shame. I may as well give it away. Who's that friend of mine? Not the, the handsome man. You. Where's your family? Your family is a duke down here, but you're not in line to inherit. It was still good work with you. Then you have the Chancellor here. Noborn. Well, it's just a uh, 
It's just a county, so we'll give it to you. You, sir, can be named the city of or the mayor. You are now a mayor. Mayor Gilla. Good man. He'll have a very high opinion of me. Which should help our levy. And he's also given himself a wife. Good good for you, good sir. Congratulations. I'll uh, mark your special interest. You are a good friend, and I hope you are relevant to the story further going on. Got rid of that, brother. This brother, he wants to get married, but there's no real reason to uh, to have him get married. If I'm not married, why should he be? He be. He's just, just a fool. Just a man. Hey, my levy hopefully goes up after this month tick because of that. No. Well, that's a shame. Could I please get my alliance over here, perhaps? By a favour? No, I just... I, I would like... Non-aggression pact. Is there any women I can throw myself to around here who isn't the Anglo-Saxon? Dunbar of Scotland, but you're quite busy at the moment. Oh, there is a woman up here, but she's already married to the uh, lords down here. Do you have a woman? You have a niece. Oh, darn, you're now part of England. And England is uh, under the Normandy. Warwick is independent, but very busy. Okay, you... Defensive pact against England. With the uh, Welsh kings here. Okay, I could ally into you. You here are also very strong, but again, no daughters. And there's you, a fellow Irishman, with a daughter. Ah, where did you come from? You're a new man. You're new. You're not the uh, standard lord here. So, how about you, milady? Would you like to marry me? She would. Now give us an alliance with this man, with 500 odd men at his disposal. Everyone's concern or prestige. Um, we have plenty of money. Prestige is harder to come by. I'll take the prestige. Excellent. We have a wedding and a wife. That'll do for the first episode. I hope you are enjoying this campaign. It's going to be a slower campaign. Slower and based more on role play. As I slowly bring our dynasty through Ireland. I, I hope it is something you're going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this a lot. If you want to support the creation of content, there's a Patreon link down below. And if you want to get involved in the community, there's a Discord link as well. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.